Sequences, series, and sigma notation. Well, now we've moved on over here to finding the nth partial term. This corresponds to page 593, example 5 in your textbook. And we start off here by finding, we're asked to find the sixth partial sum of when a1 is equal to 8. And our formula is a to the n equals 0 0.5 or 1 half a to the n minus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 2. Well, we know what a1 is. a1 is 8. So we've got to find a2, a3, a4, a5, and a6 and then add them together. So let's begin. So a2 then is equal to 0 0.5 times a2 minus 1, a1, 8, and 1 half times 8 is 4. All right, then a3. a3 is 0 0.5 times 4. So 1 half times 4 is 2. And a4 is 0 0.5 times 2, or 4 minus 1, the third term, a3, and that equals 1. And let's see, a5 is 1 half times 1, which is just going to be 0 0.5 or 1 half. And finally, a6 is equal to 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which 1 half times 1 half is equal to 1 quarter or 0 0.25. So we have calculated the first six terms, and now we're just going to add those. So we got 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 half, and 1 quarter. So let's see. Maybe I should write it out. 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25. All right, well, 8 and 4 is 12. 12 and 2 is 14. 14 and 1 is 15. And then we got a half and a quarter. That's three quarters. So it is going to equal 15.75. So the sixth partial sum of this series is 15.75. Not too bad. We'll go take a look at another. All right, now we're asked to find the seventh partial sum of a n equals 3 times 1 tenth raised to the power of n. And we don't even know what a1 is, but that's okay. We'll substitute 1 in for n right there. So then we would have 3 times 1 tenth raised to the power of 1. Well, anything raised to the power of 1 is just equal to itself. And so a1 is going to equal 3 tenths or 0 0.3. Now, a2 is going to be one tenth, 3 times 1 tenth squared. Well, 1 tenth squared is 100. And 3 times 1 over 100 is going to be 3 over 100, or 0 0.03. How about a cubed? Well, 1 tenth cubed is going to be 1 1 thousandth, and 3 times that is going to be 0 0.003, or 3 thousandth, written in decimal form. Are you seeing a pattern that we're getting here? Uh, a4. Well, let's see, a one-tenth to the fourth is one ten-thousandth, so we got three ten-thousandths, so we got 0 0.0003. Pattern kind of continuing, isn't it? a to the fifth, well, let's see, a to the fifth is going to be one hundred-thousandth, so we got three one hundred-thousandths, or zero point Zero, that's the tenth spot, tenth spot, that's the hundredth, that's the thousandth, that's the ten thousandth, that's the hundred thousandth spot. A6, well, 
I'm just going to add a zero and then a three to the end of it, and that would be three one millionth, 0 0.12345, and a three there to finish it off in the sixth spot. And a to the seventh is going to be one tenth raised to the seventh power is one over ten million or three ten millionths or 0 0.0000003. And then if I add all that up together, what am I going to get? Well, I'm going to get 0 0.33. Three, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I gotta have one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I gotta have one more. And it's gonna be zero point three 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 three. Partial sum. Seventh partial sum of a to the n equals three over one tenth raised to the power of n. Shazam!